up because my whole life, I was always hoping I'd grow up and have a deep and sexy voice, just like Barry White. I think it's more like Betty White. <laughs> this is embarrassing to say. I gotta be the only guy in the world to suck a helium out of a balloon just to get a deeper voice. <laughs> and you can't be tough sounding like this. I can't go kicking down the door to some motorcycle bike or bar starting a fight. I can't be like, Pow! Hey! <laughs> I'm talking to you! You want a piece of this? A piece of this? No, I don't have any cake. A piece of this! Messed up. I don't have a girlfriend now, obviously. And look at all the beautiful girls here tonight. All the good looking people. Wow, look at ya. Beautiful, gorgeous, models, nice looking couple. How you doing, sir? I don't want to mess with you, sir, because you got that crazy lunatic look, like you might be on parole. And look at you, nice thing. And look at, hey, you're nice, you're gorgeous. You from the Bronx? You look like this girl I used to go with. I used to go with this girl from the Bronx, my number one night. She asked if she could make love to me, New York style. I said, all right. And she stared me. <laughs> <laughs> Got some stabbing fans here from Brooklyn, I see. <laughs> Speaking of stabbing, I used to go to this Puerto Rican girl. Her name was Carmen. But Carmen was like one of those crazy women in the bedroom. She was like, she was like, she was one of those girls who had anything once. One night Carmen, like she tried these gadgets and these crazy positions. One night Carmen started talking real dirty to me, but then she wanted me to start talking dirty to her. What could a Jewish guy possibly say in the bedroom at 30? Uh, I ate a ham sandwich? <laughs> My bank account's running low? I wish I was black? <laughs> and he said, that sir? Sometimes I really do wish I was black. Like, I'm so small down here, I can only hope and pray someday I'll find a blind girl to go in. Cause she's gonna be the only one that knows how to find it, cause she can read braille. <laughs> Nothing ever goes right for me, like, I'm only doing something embarrassing, and yesterday, yesterday I did something so embarrassing, I did something I haven't done in a long time. I peed in bed. I haven't done that for weeks. You too, sir. You know when you just gotta go and you can't hold it anymore, you gotta let it out? That's what happened to me. The bad thing was I was over at City Furniture shopping for mattresses. <laughs> Oh, and this big, strong guy, kind of like Ramon, but he wasn't gay. <laughs> he comes walking over and he's like, Excuse me, sir, I'm the manager and I have to tell you I'm a little pissed. I was like, oh, well, do you think you're pissed? Wait till we see if I get a pillowcase, he's going to be spurned. <laughs> I didn't even get dirty or nothing. Sorry. I'm not too smart. All I do is watch TV all day. My favorite show is The Wheel of Fortune. I love them. And they said now The Wheel of Fortune is now on in 92 countries. And I think that's great. But the only country I don't think they can put The Wheel of Fortune on is like India. And I love Indian people. They're so nice and friendly. But can you imagine if they had The Wheel of Fortune in India? They'd probably go something like this. Okay, my friends. The clue is 28 letters and it's a person. Then the guy would spin the wheel and he'd be like, Oh, yes. Could there be an L? Yes, there are 27 L's. <laughs> like, I can solve a puzzle, please. And then, <laughs> he could have bought a vowel. That would have been an L, too. <laughs> I gotta go in a second. I just gotta say, like, obviously I'm not too smart. I'm not, I'm not Alvin Einstein. And I'm not smart than anybody. But, like, there was one. What's that? Drink up. That's what air beds are for. Okay? So, like, I'm, I'm, you know, in New York, they got these guys on the corner selling watches now. You see that? They're like, they're selling watches. Like, I'm coming up the subway after performing at a show. I'm, I took the subway and I'm coming out. And there's this one guy over there. He's like, Yo, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is the dope. You know what I'm saying? I'm dropping these rolls for Deuce McWhorter so I get some gold on my grill. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I know. You know what you're saying? <laughs> and I'm not this smart, but I thought, the first time I'm 
my life, I gotta like, maybe I can outwit somebody. So I'm like, excuse me, Mr. White Salesman, I like what's happening. I can dig what you're doing. I think it's fired up, groovy, and out of sight, and on and on and on and on. And that's what's crackalacking. And you know what I'm talking about? He's like, nah, you can't have a run on sentence follow with a preposition. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I'm easy. Pretty fucked up. The guy with the cat, that kind of voice calls me gay.